After a decade of being vegan, we're going to a steakhouse. Hey everyone, it's Jasmine. And Chris. Welcome back to another video. If you're new to our channel, Chris and I have been vegan for over a decade at this point, and we do taste tests on this channel, letting you know our opinions on different things, and today... We are actually at a steakhouse, surprisingly enough. The steakhouse chain Fogo de Chao, it's a Brazilian steakhouse, I believe. They now have two vegan options, uh, so we're going to go and try them. I don't think we've ever I'm been a to nervous. a steakhouse as vegans. I feel like it doesn't make sense. I haven't been to a steakhouse in a very, very long time. Very long time. So this should be interesting. Let's yeah, we're going to give you up. our honest opinion and... We'll let you know if it's worth the money because I yeah. am assuming it's going to be really expensive at this place. It just sounds like an expensive place. Yeah, the whole place really is know. super pricey. So Let's we're going to spend our money. So yeah, we'll <laughs> so you don't have to. Let's go. Before we carry on with this video, I want to give a quick shout out to our sponsor today, which is Helix. If you're not familiar with Helix Sleep, they have premium mattress and bedding that is custom fit to you. So you can take an online sleep quiz and you'll be paired with the perfect mattress. We've had ours for probably about two, two years, years now. and it's the best mattress I've ever slept on hands down. Yeah, we've slept on multiple mattresses. We went through a few. We were mm. having a hard time. and. We actually were customers of Helix before they even reached out to us, which is really cool. We were able to advertise them on our YouTube channel, and we love their mattress. And Chris, Chris and I prefer different mattresses. I like mine a little softer. He likes his a little firmer. So we went on the Helix website, we took the quiz, and we found the perfect mattress for the two of us, which is the Midnight Lux. And I have been sleeping like a baby. Also, I'm a very warm sleeper, and they have these Glaciotex covers that you can put over your mattress and it's cooling and I'm looking forward to summer now because I know I'm gonna sleep. Oh my god. I'm gonna have like the perfect temperature. Me too. Normally I wake up like sweating. And Me then... too from him. <laughs> <laughs> so this is a total game changer. Ever since we got this I have been sleeping much more like even temperature. My temperature has been... I gotta say before we got this thing he... he Chris is a hot sleeper like you said. He radiates heat. He is just pouring sweat into the bed okay, sleep so far away from him. Let's not get too graphic here. <laughs> but ever since we've had this, it's been, like, I can feel it. Like, if my body, like, grazes your body in bed, I don't get the stickiness I used to. You are definitely sleeping cooler, and it definitely works. So, I gotta say that as the person who sleeps next to you. <laughs> <laughs> With your Helix mattress, you also get a 100-night sleep trial plus a 10-year warranty, so you can sleep easy, quite literally. Uh, with that, they also have flexible financing and payment options if that is something you're interested in. We have a discount code down below for 20% off plus two free pillows. So if you're looking for a new mattress, new bedding, new pillows, check out Helix. They will be linked down below. Okay, so the first thing we have is a cauliflower steak. They were able to make this vegan by just omitting the cheese. Uh, it was supposed to be Parmesan crusted. This doesn't have Parmesan. We have a side of edamame. Cauliflower actually looks really good. I'm always apprehensive about cauliflower steaks, but this looks pretty decent. Mm. It's seasoned well. It's a little crunchy for cauliflower. It could be a little softer. Not bad. Mm. That's really good. It is, yeah. It is very crunchy. Not very crunchy. It does have a bite to it. It's not bad. I feel like it was just completely soft. I don't know if I would like it as much. It's not bad. Like, I want to finish this whole thing. We're going to. Yeah. I wouldn't say it's a steak, but it's good. <laughs> I do appreciate them adding the edamame on the side because of the lack of protein. I guess, I don't know if they did that in order to make the protein um, amount equivalent. I don't know the exact numbers here, but it's cool that they include a vegan protein on there. Oh, I have something to say also. The basil on the side, it's really good. Oh, I didn't try it. Take a sauce. Then all the oil based. Good. Mmm. I want more of that. Ooh, that'll be good on a salad. Mm -hmm. That is very good. So this is their power bowl. We have some chimichurri rice, some roasted eggplant, some peppers, mushrooms, artichokes, asparagus more of this, uh, whatever the hell is going to cauliflower. 
much. It was really good. Are all the veggies seasoned the same? Let's see. Mm. I think so. I really like that rice though. I can use like a protein. Like I'll say the same. tofu on it. Yeah. Or have an option, yeah. I agree. They're like tempeh. My turn. I do agree. It would. It, I feel like it would be more well-rounded if it had a protein. But I haven't even tasted it yet, so I'm trying it. I must say though, for a vegan option at a non-vegan place, it's beautiful. And I appreciate it not being meh. Even the cauliflower, apparently they, they already had that. And you can make it vegan by removing the parmesan like Chris said. And that option alone um, was impressive. Like I appreciated it. Good rice. Good rice. I love the stickiness of it. Mmm. I'll try a mushroom. Mmm. It's good. I do agree. Like a tofu or like maybe even some beans with it. Yeah. But it's delicious as is. And I'll get it again. Mm. One thing I will say, it's very oily. It is very oily. Like, you can't even tell by just looks good. Yeah. We've never been here before, like we mentioned. So I don't really know what these things are, but I'm assuming it's like when you want more meat, because they like bring the meat to the table and carve it for you, you put this, yes or no? Let me know. I don't know. And I'm too afraid to ask. <laughs> so the next dish we have is a seared tofu with a black pasta. It's tossed in a carrot ginger dressing. Same sauce that's been on. Everything. The others, but it's very good, so I'm not complaining. I don't know if this is cold, let's find out. Mmm. Warm? That's good. Wow. Okay. I was not expecting that. Good flavor. It reminds me of like lo mein or something. And the tofu is good. It's very like uh, minimal, mm. but like still flavorful. Like salt, pepper, and uh, the sauce. Like Chris said, it has the same exact sauce, but the sauce is good. Tofu is very minimal. Although it doesn't have like a crispiness to it or a crust to it, it's very, very good. It is just like a simple. We got protein. Soft tofu. Not soft. What would you say? Firm. Firm tofu. Soft as in not crispy. Yeah. Not everyone's favorite texture. I personally don't mind it. I would just eat plain tofu. Honestly, if I was really hungry, but I know some people don't like that. So, try personal this. preference, but I would eat that. Let's try the noodles. Mm. That's really good. Surprisingly good. Surprisingly good. I was expecting the tofu to be in the noodles. Yeah, that's what I thought too. Mm. They're really good together. They should have put this tofu in the power bowl. I agree. I like it. The only thing that's missing, in my opinion, is some rice. Do you, do you have some rice with this? Mm. Oh, they're both gluten free too, right? Both oh, yeah, dishes. both dishes. Um, the cauliflower, I'm not sure. We should didn't say. It didn't say gluten free. But I don't see why it wouldn't be. Maybe there's soy sauce on it. Okay, final thoughts. We okay, never we, asked them how to say it. So when we first went in, the person helping us said it. Feel good to show. Feel good to show. And then later on, I was like, we should ask them how to say it, and we never so we did. can. Re and we just never did. We'll look online, and I don't you, know. you guys will correct us. I'm oh, sure. Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> so final thoughts. For me personally, it was better than I had anticipated. It, I agree. We did have a lot of food, so me saying it was filling, I'm not sure if that reflects Yeah, we had three each. entrees to feed two people, so. I'm full, I'm yeah, not I'm overly full. full. We have leftovers. Yeah, I feel good. The only thing I would say, it is a little pricey. That whole place is expensive, so I expected it to be. For the money, I don't know if it's worth it, but if you're going with your family and you need a vegan option or you're looking for one, it's nice they have three things to choose from now. And they're not like sad, embarrassing options. You know, yeah, you're not it's not just like a, you're not like eating at the salad bar, yeah. which they do have. And um, we actually didn't check it out because we felt like we didn't need to. We did look at it a little. I felt like it wouldn't really have made our experience any different. Yeah, our server said there 
was vegan options on it though so they did mention though if we were they were like oh since you're a vegan if you want to get the salad bar or whatever it's called it's, it's half, half off price, so yeah. that was cool we didn't get it obviously but that's cool that they do that also the pasta dish that we got took a little bit longer and they removed that item from the our bill, bill. So it only ended up being like sixty-two dollars. I know sixty-two is a lot that of money. That is a lot, yeah. <laughs> but we were expecting it would have been a lot like ninety dollars otherwise, which is insane. Um, overall, I was impressed. Were they the best options? No. Could there have been different things they could have changed? Obviously, I feel like that's always everybody always has different opinions. I was happy with the food. I would eat it again. I would go there again. And I'm really appreciative of them for putting so much effort into the options. I feel like I would go there again if somebody who wasn't vegan was insisting on going there that's true i wouldn't I don't go think I, I wouldn't just go there do you want to go there for dinner tonight babe i don't think we would do that yeah no absolutely not um, absolutely <laughs> there's a veggie girl around the corner we'll probably yeah, go there i'd much rather do that yeah uh, there are better vegan options for way less money but again it's like if you're going with your family or for work or something it's cool that the options exist and I think it's also important to support these options because we've seen so many fast food places. I know this obviously isn't fast food. Just but so for many an example, spots. Yeah, they get an option and then nobody gets it or so the demand out. isn't there and then they remove them. Um, it's all about that money, honey. So I think getting these options, I mean, not going out of your way to go, but... Also, you know. I do want to mention rambling on but the staff came up to us and they were asking about our review on it our opinion on it because it's so new they want to make sure that oh, it just came out five five or six days ago yeah these they want to make options. sure that the customers are enjoying it what they they asked us what can we improve on we want to make it like the best dish it could be that was really cool that they came up and asked they don't know if, like we work in the food space that we work as vegan bloggers they saw us filming i don't know if they I don't know. Uh, I don't know. They don't even know if, like, we are vegan or not. Like, we were right. just like, oh, we wanted to try the vegan stuff. So it was cool that they did that. The service was impeccable. Everybody was so nice, so kind, so accommodating. Um, uh, and I appreciated that. I was going to oh, what was your favorite thing, would you say, out of those three? Mm. It's funny. I kind of like the cauliflower the Honestly, best. Honestly, I think, I, I think the cauliflower. The cauliflower well. was the most flavorful. And I, I like the rice a lot. Yeah, the rice, rice was very good. Like, I want a whole bowl. Just With the rice. tofu and black bean pasta was the most, like, fulfilling, I think. Like, yeah. satiating. I think they could have, like, a combination of the power bowl and the tofu noodle noodle dish they like mash them together in some way i feel like it would be a better well-rounded dish more filling more protein um but it was good yeah i just i would get the cauliflower again too that's funny well that's hope, our review um i hope you trust our opinion yeah we hope you enjoyed this video <laughs> give it a thumbs up it definitely helps us out here comment down below if you've ever been to this place let us know your thoughts i know these just came out but if yeah if you've tried um, them let us know or yeah. if you've tried the cauliflower it seems like that's been there for a while let us know your thoughts if you want us to go try food anywhere else if any new things come out we are always down to try it for you to let you know if it's worth your money so yeah. let us know we'll spend our money for you and we'll be back with a new video soon peace